Is there anything that white men can do, individual white men can do, is there anything individual white men can do to please their God and not suffer wrath? Okay, the answer to that question is no, and I'm going to show you why. The answer is no, and I'm going to show you why. Well, then my question is... Well, you already, let me answer that question. If there's no way that I can Hold up, see, let me ask, let me answer the question, okay? no way that I can please my God, what should keep me then from nuking all of you? Because we do have the nukes. Why don't we just take our armies now and our nukes, we're in charge, and kill everybody. Listen, that's what the so-called white man's doing. He's practicing genocide on our people. No, no, we're doing it too slow. I mean, we can do it much quicker. We have the technology. They are doing it quicker. Why don't we do it? I mean, what's to keep me from doing it? Nothing. Crisis keeps me If I have no hope then from my God, then what's to keep me from doing it? You should go out there and rob a bank, get you a bunch of credit cards, and and spin them up, go out there, kill your mother, kill your father, go on a well, mass not my mother murder and father, spree. But just, just, just black folks and, and Israelites and they stuff. Go, because if they uh, die, the most I, I mean, want that's the, that's the good news for the black man is that he is on the verge of recapturing his position as ruler of the universe. The bad news for the white man is that his long and wicked reign will shortly be over. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 105, starting off at verse 8, and it reads this. He have remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which commandment he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Psalms 105, starting off at verse 8, and it reads this. He have remembered his covenant forever the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. So when these devils and these other heathens continue to confess and say, my God, my God, my God, okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is only the God, the power, the Lord, the father of the nation of Israel, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Matter of fact, let's prove that, man. I mean, that, that right there proves it alone, but let's let's see what Yahweh Shah HaMashiach has to say about that matter. Because you devils, man, you truly, you're truly you proud as hell. You truly believe that your kingdom will stand and flourish forever. You truly believe that you won't be taken down. You truly believe that uh, you will never be conquered, man. You truly believe that you will always be on top and everybody will always always have to bow down to you, man. You you truly think that you are in control, man. But you are going to be shown forth otherwise and made a spectacle amongst, amongst all nations, man. And also the ones that follow after your lead, man. The ones that are, are grateful and uh, agree in your madness, man. Let's see what Yahweh Shai has to say if, if, if he's the power of the Edomites. St. Matthew chapter 22, verse 32, and it reads this. I am the power of Abraham and the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob. Okay, that's it. That is it. I am the power of Abraham and the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob, the most high is not the power of dead, but of the living. And, and, and in this aspect, everybody else is in a dead light mindset uh, 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 in this world, okay? The only ones that are alive, that are breathing, that are really seeing things that are, 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 are what they... Slack you, slack you, are, I'm excited, forgive me. The only ones that are seeing and walking in the light that are alive is, is the uh, uh, the elect, which we hope and pray to be. But we also know that Yahweh Shah was talking about, uh, you know, answering the question for the uh, for those uh, uh, scribes and Pharisees. He was answering answering the question. But the main thing I want to take out of this is right here. I'll read it again. St. Matthew 22, verse 32. I am the power of Abraham 
and the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob. So that's what we're going to apply to this lesson, man. So why this, this red silverback thin lip beast is talking about, if I can't please my power, then I can just nuke everybody. I can just nuke you and get it done because we're in control. You see, and, and that also goes into uh, uh, Psalm 64, verse 8, Job chapter 15. Okay, you confess in your own iniquities, man. And that's the Lord putting the spirit on you to confess, man. That should that should have wicked of the earth, man. So what else did the Lord say, man? Because you really and, and like the dude said, the reason why you ain't doing what you really want to do is because uh, the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, is not letting you do what you want to do right now. Oh, but in due time, He's gonna put that spirit on you to believe that you're in control, to believe that you're bringing forth your new NWO. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen, starting off at verse twenty-one, and it reads this: Prepare slaughter. For his children, for the iniquity of their father. So just like we had to, you know, uh, uh, you know, pay that, pay that tab, pay that bill for our transgressions and what our forefathers did. Because again, we all are, we are our forefathers. So just like we had to pay the bill, you're gonna have to pay the bill, man. You cannot run from the judgments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You cannot run from the heavenly Creator of the earth and everything else, man. Everything we see, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has manifest and made. Okay, point blank, period, man. It's nothing you can do about it, man. You're going to get this judgment, whether you like it or not. Okay, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. And we have to also keep in remembrance, too, that a thousand years is just one day. A thousand years is just one day to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So it may seem like these cave gorillas have been running for a long time, but guess what? It's only been a second. It ain't even been a full day, man. Point blank, period, man. And, 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 and as we see them building up right now, the Lord's about to throw all this down, man. He's giving, he's, he's putting in Esau's heart that he's really going to prosper. He's putting in Esau's heart that he's really going to uh, 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 have all nations under his complete grasp, man, under his complete control. Verse 22, for I will rise up against them. And that's what we preparing to see. I don't want rot to die, man. The Lord rise up against these cave gorillas, man. For I will rise up against them, say if Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, say if Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That sounds like a, a mass murder. Mass judgment, and that's only the beginning, man. That's that's talking about destroying Babylon, and then what happens after that? Your, your nobles, your elites, the upper escalon that, that have been controlling the things in the shadows is going into captivity, and your your nation is going to start to repopulate. Then all those all those spirits here in Babylon and across the four corners of the world that have got judged in this time are going to come back and go into hardcore bondage, man. Point blank, period. So what does that sound like? What does that sound like? Let's let the Bible speak. How about that? Because it, it, it doesn't make a difference what I say. It makes a difference what the Bible says. This is the book of Luke chapter 18, starting off at verse 7. And it reads this. And shall not the Most High revenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with him? Do you hear that? And shall not the Most High revenge his own elect, which we pray and hope to be, which cry day and night unto him, which we do through supplications, prayers, putting up edification, sending up curses, extolling and acknowledging his name and his son's name, etc., man, magnifying this gospel, magnifying the names of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, magnifying everything that he has spoken in these scriptures, man. Verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them Speedily, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. He shall find faith with the, the predestinated lot, man. The ones that are, are the elect, again, which we hope and pray to be. And like, and like I said prior to, it may seem like things are not moving fast, but guess what? They're moving very fast. If you can't feel it in the spirit and see it in the spirit, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're not in the spirit because we see it. I just woke up this morning, man, and went, and went to the plantation, and, and now the day's almost over man now it's almost time to get up and go do it again man this is a, this is a nightmare this is hell man 
we, we pray for, for shorter days. We pray for the kingdom to be prepared and to be uh, uh, formulated faster, man. To be pushed uh, to the forefront and to this place to be judged and destroyed and demolished right before our eyes, man. And guess what has happened, man? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is making everything happen quickly and smoothly, man. But the point's made. Let's close out here, man. You know, you proud ass devils, man. Well, we, we can just destroy you now. We, we control everything. We can just nuke everybody. Oh, no, I'm not talking about my mom. I'm talking about you, you, you blacks and you, you Israelites. You proud bastard. This is the book of Obadiah, verses 15 to 16, and it reads this. For the day of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai is near, upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done. So everything that you've sold, everything that you push with the work of your hands, all your crafty, abominable, wicked, uh, uh, deceitful, horrific, harsh ways that you thought and that's what you produced, phew, it ain't nothing compared to what the Lord's going to do to you, man. For the day of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is near upon all the heathen as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall, re shall return upon thine own head. So just like, because you know Esau wants to terminate us. So you want to terminate us, that's going to come upon your own head. You want to continue to oppress us and, and not give us no mercy, no, 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 no sympathy, no remorse, no anything, no pity. That's going to come upon you too, homeboy. And that's just a smidget of what you're going to endure. Our captivity that we've gone through in hardcore bondage until now ain't going to be shit compared to what you got to go through when we get you home, boy. Trust and believe, man. Verse 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. You ain't going to be able to put, that, that put it down and take a breather to have a rest. Continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Non-existent, man. He, just like it says in the... Uh, uh, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and read. We'll close out there. So here. This is going to be you right here, Esau. Get this scripture over there. I'm just going to get one more precept. So here. One more precept. Bear with me. This is the book of Job, chapter 20, verse 7, and it reads this. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. And that's what that, that's what that precept that we just read in uh, the end of uh, Obadiah 1 and 16. As they had not been, Job 20, verse 7. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. So when, you, you know, when you're in the bathroom, you know, you defecate and you get rid of that stuff that you know, your body doesn't need. You're not, you're not worried about where it's going. No, you, you, you wipe your, your, your rear end and you flush that toilet. And then, you know, you, you, you air out the bathroom, spray some, some lights off a breeze or, you know, light some incense, whatever the case may be, and, you know, fan it out. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? That's your future, Esau. That is your future. So, Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting to the true sincere Aki and Wa Akwaf, man. Hey, man, hold on, man. Let no man take thy crown and pray for the Lord to have you endure to the end, to keep you uh, uh, in the fold, to keep you strengthened, enlightened, uh, increase your hope, trust, faith, and belief, everything, man. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.